Number 5. In line with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's push for enhancing cybersecurity, the Indian Army is testing the indigenous boss, Bharat Operating System Solutions, to guard its communication and information networks from espionage by foreign players. In his maiden address to the senior commanders of the three services, the Prime Minister had asked them to guard against the threats in the cyber domain. The Center for Development of Advanced Computing CDAC, has developed this highly secure operating system. The system has successfully passed a crash test by the DRDO and Indian Army. Let us go into the details. Number 4 Cyber warfare involves the use and targeting of computers and networks in warfare. It involves both offensive and defensive OP. Rations pertaining to the threat of cyber attacks, espionage and sabotage. There has been controversy over whether such operations can duly be called war. Nevertheless, nations have been developing the capabilities and are engaged in cyber warfare both as a defensive and offensive instrument. Number 3 Protection of vital information in cyber domain is critical for the forces. At present, the Indian military is using foreign origin software. These have been frequently coming under the scanner of India's intelligence agencies, and are not considered safe in the prevailing atmosphere of leaks and cyber espionage. Currently, a number of equipment in the cyber infrastructure used by the public sector agencies supporting military communication is sourced from foreign manufacturers. This is a major concern area. BOSS operating system is a custom Linux distribution tailored for India. It has enhanced desktop environment integrated with Indian language options and other utility software. It supports Intel and AMD x86 and x64 architecture. Number 2 USA has long accused China of aggressive espionage and reverse engineering. Officials and organizations have traced various attacks on corporates and government computer systems in U.S. to computers in China. The attack in some cases are so sophisticated that it will be impossible to perpetrate without the backing of Chinese government. China obtained more than 50 terabytes of data from U.S. defense and government networks. Notably the F-35 Joint Strike Fighters stealth, radar and engine secrets were accessed through cyber espionage. Now using those documents. China has developed its own fifth-generation fighter, Chengdu J-20. The NSA estimated that the Chinese had conducted more than 30,000 cyber attacks as part of the massive defense industrial espionage, and that more than 500 attacks were significant intrusions in Department of Defense systems. More than 1,600 network computers were penetrated and at least 600,000 user accounts were compromised from the Chinese cyber spying. India being a rival of China, needs to be very conscious of the Chinese cyber espionage threats. Number 1 In any conflict, information is key, more so nowadays. It is imperat. I've that Indian military is able to guard its data from getting hacked. Relying on foreign manufacturer to protect sensitive data is not the way to go. Not only military forces, sensitive government establishments need a thorough overhaul of the IT infrastructure to meet the challenges of the current landscape. Introduction of indigenous operating system is a step in right direction. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.